Hi, Liquid viewers. Welcome to the video for March 25th, 2010. Today, we're going to touch upon the Greece situation once again. Although EU leaders agreed on an emergency rescue uh, strategy last week for Greece, uh, they had trouble coming, with, coming up with a plan for the actual package. So now it looks like the IMF will have to step in. The troubled Greek government is likely going to get a sizable loan from a combination of uh, the, I, the IMF and the EU. That is, if Eurozone members all unanimously agree. Uh, buying Greece some time to straighten out its financial problems. But while Greece has imposed austerity measures, uh, the move so far won't do enough to bring uh, the country back in line with EU guidelines in terms of uh, debt levels relative to GDP. Uh, the country's deficit is still likely going to be around 9% uh, GDP this year. While that's an improvement from the 12.7% figure last year, it's still a far cry from the EU Ghana 3%. Then there's uh, Portugal, whose own credit rating was, down, <coughs> excuse me, was downgraded by Fitch yesterday, uh, meaning that it will have to uh, pay more uh, in order to issue sovereign debt going forward. This underscores once again the sad shape of finances across the EU and is causing some investors to flee the euro, uh, helping our US dollar to appreciate in the meantime. Uh, the stronger dollar uh, boosts our buying power, but it also makes our goods more expensive to foreigners which as a result could hamper our economic recovery, which is already fragile, uh, if it leads to a slowdown in exports. But the uh, momentum in the equity market appears to be strong and uh, stocks could still have a little bit of upside in our opinion. But uh, our concern remains that the downside risk, uh, particularly if our economy slows down later this year, is quite considerable. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and join us again soon.